So for my first scenario, I'm with Bainview Products and I'm asking six open and close ended questions. And so my first question would be, what did our current employees sell before coming to Bainview? And the, the answer is, we don't know. Or if they, they can try to tell me something or explain, but they're not, they're not going to be able to. They're, we don't have a really good process. It's all word of mouth. And so we could have someone who was selling fish now trying to sell industrial products. And those, those are two completely different things. And that's our problem. And we're not giving them any training. This would start to open the, uh, the question of do we need training or, or do we need a program that looks into the salespeople, looks into their past to see what their experience is in. My second question would be, what would be the potential sales lost by terminating these eight to 12 employees? So our, we've shown, the records have shown previous that customers are loyal to our salespeople. When they leave, they're fired or they leave, we lose their business. So what are we losing by firing these people? My third question is, is do we follow up with trade show uh, potential clients um, or prospects? And the answers are going to range from yes, no, I don't know. And if they say yes, I want to know, okay, how quick, how many? How do, who do you know? How do you know who to go and find and who to reach out to? And, and there is no answer. The right answer is maybe because we don't have a good uh, communication process of doing so. And so I think a program is needed for that. Uh, my fourth question is, is what percentage of salespeople do we have that use the Microsoft and to PDF method? Now we have this method of communicating their sales pitches and and what they're doing and what they plan on doing to the CEOs, but they use Microsoft and then change it to a PDF. Well, like 70% of our people do it, but 30 don't. So I really want to know the percentage. So when they hear it out loud, I can go 30% of our, of our employees are doing something completely different. That's huge. That's a big problem. So it, we need a program for that. Uh, my fifth question is, can we keep uh, clients from these terminated customers? So we're firing these people, can we keep their clients? And the answers are gonna be yes, no, maybe. And so that's, that's me wanting them to again understand we're losing a lot by firing these people, potentially, history shows. Uh, my final question would be, how will firing these candidates benefit Bainview as a whole? It's not, it, it, there, I can't see any, any reason other than it's gonna cut costs on their salary but we're going to lose all their clients. I mean, of course, people we're firing don't have the best clientele or they're not making the money. That's why they're getting canned. But we're losing, I mean, they're, they're all, all our clients are $100,000 clients. Even if they have two, that's $200,000 per year we're losing by firing one person. When we could be fixing our hiring system, so when we do start growing because we're offering the right training now, now we're going to hire people that are better or now we know how we need to train them and it's going to overall be better and our communication is going to come together and improve our business a whole lot. My second um, part of my problem is my gel tech, which is my spin, which stands for situation, problem, implication, and need payoff. So for my S, my situation, my uh, question to the, to the employee or to whoever I'm asking is, how do you manage the contact details received from the inside and outer portions of our company? We have inside and out. The inside works within our company. The out is finding prospects and stuff like that, and sending the information in and out. It's all working together. But how do we manage that contact info? Because it's not very good. Some of our employees have gone above and beyond and gotten their own program, and it works, but we don't recognize it, and, and they and the people they're communicating with might not use it, so it's a problem. Not everybody's using it. Again, we need to get on the same page of what we're doing. My second question is my P, which is my problem. And then my question would be, do you find it difficult managing sales from all of our different markets? So we have like 18 or 16 different products in different markets. And so our main one, of course, is the fire sales, but there's a lot to manage. So we need a program that can combine all that and specify it down so that we can hire salespeople that are specifically for each specific to each market. So maybe a simple phone service. So when you call, press one for this, press two for this, and they send people off to our different markets, or so that we can manage it better. Uh, my I is a question for uh, implication would be: if we switch to a program like Netsuite, how could your sales management benefit? 
So how is it going to benefit? I know nothing about NetSuite, so I need to know and learn. So having the employee explain what NetSuite is and how it could benefit would help me understand why we need it. My N is my need payoff is if we provided the necessary management programs, how could we benefit your time? How is it going to benefit your time? And this will help me understand how much money I'm going to save or how much how much more work they're going to be able to do if I give them the proper program so I can see the need for it. My final part of this uh, assignment is the high point part, which is me understanding going into the meeting what we're doing. And so uh, I need to know our sales management program. This is something we need. We have a 45 split on our sales reps. We have one rep for every area and they're all and none of them are using a sales management program or a communication program. We need that. Uh, they're not communicating properly. Our turnover process is a huge problem. We have all these people leaving and their $1.5 million per year in sales are being lost and it takes six months to recover from that. So we need a really good solid turnover process to keep some of these, um, some of these profits that we are losing for half a year. That's a long time. And then we need to connect with current clients, uh, a lot better because we're, we're finding a, we're searching for so many uh, new clients that our current clients are feeling left out and they're not getting the response that the in time and in a timely manner and, it, and we're coming off as out of date and old we've got too many people searching we either need to find a we need to outsource and find somebody else who will find prospects for us hiring a company company to do, to do that or we need to really break it down to only so many people are finding new clients and we, we need to have a dedicated people go out to our current clients so we don't lose them. And that's very important. Those are the, those are the three things I noticed that we really need for High Point. Thank you.